Good morning, Believe Nation. It's Evan. My one word is believe, and I believe that you have something special that when you unleash it, it will be able to change the world. So to help you on your journey, today's message is live your life to the fullest. Over to you, Oprah Winfrey. I wake up every morning. Espresso, keep me going. I wake up every morning. What drives you to keep working so hard? You could... You know, you and I are in the 60s category, and so when you're in your 60s, you know you've lived more than you're going to live, yeah. realistically. So when you realize you've lived more than you're going to live, you can say, why not relax a little bit? Why not just ease up? Why have you decided to even work harder than you did before? Because I think, David, that everybody, you know, the thing that works for me all these years, whether it was the magazine or which I still have, or whether it was the show, I could I understood that there's a common denominator in the human experience. And I want the same thing you want, which is the same thing you want and you want. What we all want is to be able to live out the truest, highest expression of ourselves as a human being. That doesn't end until you take your last breath. What is the truest, highest vision that you hold for yourself. No matter where you are in your life, there's always the next level. There's always the next level mm -hmm. to the last breath. So I feel that I always knew that I would get be done with the show when I felt like, oh, I've said as much as I could say here on this right. platform. And then how will I be used? If there were if there were a theme song to my life, Amazing Grace would be one of them, and Keep On Using Me Till You Use Me Up would be another one. Right, right. Right. You know that Bill Withers song? Yes. Da -da 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 -da. So I feel that until you have used your value as a human being, you're not done. I don't think most people live their life to the fullest. I don't think people are even close. I don't think most people are even anywhere close to living their life to the fullest. I think most people are waiting for the weekends to come, can't wait for that vacation to come. If you are counting down the days to your vacation, then in my view, I think there's something wrong with your life. Now there's nothing wrong with vacations and there's nothing wrong with weekends. I love spending time with my family. I love my weekends. I love vacations when I go off to vacations. But the thing is, you wanna be running towards something. Like a vacation or a weekend or activities that you have should be something you run towards. Where for most people, a vacation or weekend is a running away from their current life. Your job sucks, your life sucks, and so you wanna just go away, sit on a beach for two weeks and not have to worry about anything. That's not great. Like if you get to only get off for one or two weeks a year and then you know, you're looking forward to the weekends and you're spending most of your life doing work that you hate, that's not anywhere close to living your life to the fullest. Most people don't even know what living their life to the fullest looks like. And so if that's you, if you like dread the work that you're doing, you're in the wrong thing. Like you gotta go off and do something else. That's why having passion for your business is the most important ingredient to success. Because if you're only chasing an opportunity, you only have some big goal, you're not gonna do the work to get there. You'll say you do anything, whatever it takes, right? I'll do whatever it takes to get there, but you won't. Because you're only motivated by the goal where you have to enjoy the daily process. You have to actually enjoy the work. And again, not every day is amazing, not every day is, insanely successful. I don't wake up every day and have the best day ever. There's a lot of crap you have to deal with being an entrepreneur, but net, like I enjoy the work I'm doing. I enjoy making YouTube videos for you guys. I enjoy responding to the comments. I enjoy running Toronto Dance Salsa. I enjoy helping build Lily up to be an entrepreneur. Like I enjoy net the work that I do and you need to do the same thing in your business if you want to come anywhere close to living your life to your fullest. I agree with Oprah in that there is no end point. Like it's until your last breath, you're doing it because you love to do it. If you love doing the thing, why do you want to stop? If you're looking for a finish line and you can't wait to retire, you're in the wrong thing. If you're counting down the days to your retirement or the vacation or the weekend, you are doing the wrong thing and you need to stop ASAP to move to something that you can look forward to. There is no final date. It's ongoing. It's forever. It's lifetime. It's to your last breath. That has to be the thing. And if you don't know what that is, that's okay. Explore, search, find it. Don't just sit on your hands doing the same thing over and over and over and over again because the path to finding what that thing is for you that you can live your fullest life and enjoy the work that you're doing does not come from sitting on the couch and staying in a life that you hate. That's not how you find it. You gotta get out there and explore. I also applaud Oprah for leaving the Oprah Winfrey show 
at the height of her career. Like she had the number one talk show, she had tons of influence, millions of people following her, and she decides to go out. Like she wasn't an athlete that you're gonna fade over time, right? It's not like her skills were diminishing and she's gonna fall off a cliff, right? You know, if you're a 50 year old basketball player, you're gonna have a hard time keeping up. She was at the height of her game and she decided to quit and move on because she felt like that part of her life was done, right? She had said what she wanted to say, but she wasn't done, she wasn't retiring, she was moving on just to the next chapter. And so I have a lot of respect for her of quitting the thing at the height of her career to then move on and try something brand new. And I did the same thing with my business where I had my website and that was the thing. I was all in on my website and now I barely spend any of my time on my website. It's still there, it's still a business, still have my team, we're growing it, but more of my effort is focused on the YouTube channel for you guys, for TDS, Lily and mentoring and building her up and the other projects that I'm working on. And if I ever get sick of the YouTube channel, if I ever have to think, oh, I gotta make YouTube videos, this sucks, hate it. If that's ever my mindset going into filming day, I have to quit. Like, I will move on. I might sell the channel or I just might stop it. If you get to that point, right, you gotta be able to move on to something else. Now, thankfully, for me and for you guys, I love, I love this. Like I love, I wanna get better, I wanna drive forward, I wanna hit the next goal, I wanna make these videos even better, even more impactful for you guys. But this may not continue in five years, in 10 years, in 30 years. You know, I'm still gonna be doing things to help inspire billion entrepreneurs. It may not be through YouTube. YouTube may not even be around. And that's okay. Like the minute you start losing your passion for whatever it is that you're doing, you need to move on. You might be able to sell the thing that you made, right, and, and give it to somebody else, or it may not be big enough to sell. That's okay, drop it and move on to something else. As soon as you lose that passion for whatever it is that you're doing, you need to move on and go find something else ASAP because the window is closing. You only have so much time on this planet. You wanna do something that's meaningful and stop counting down the days to the next weekend, to the next vacation, to your retirement day. So the question today, today is I'm curious, what is the thing that makes you come alive most? What do you love most about the business that you've started or the business you wanna start or something in your personal life? Like what is the thing that you wish you could do all day long? It makes you feel the most alive. What is that thing for you? Leave it down in the comments below. Really curious to find out. I also wanna give a quick shout out to Latrenda George. Latrenda, thank you so much for picking up a copy of my book, Your One Word. I really, really appreciate the support and I hope you enjoyed the read. So thank you guys again for watching. I believe in you. I hope you continue to believe in yourself and whatever your one word is. Much love, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow morning for another shot of Espresso. I wake up every morning. Espresso, keep me going. Someone on a, another interview was just asking me, hey, you know, back in the early days, you guys released an album almost every year. You know, you've got like five, you know, five albums in six years or something and what happened you know it was eight years since the last one it's like dude there's a lot more life to do you know <laughs> there's a lot you know vacations with families watching my kids grow up um uh you know touring a lot longer than it used to be you know shit back in those days we had this many songs and this is how many gigs we can do and then we're back in the studio so a lot is happening in life and uh everyone in the band is on the same page which is really a great thing um we've all got kids and we've all got other lives but we can't live without metallica man <laughs> it's just something that joins us you know we're these friggin four married guys that know more about each other than anyone knows about us maybe our wives if you come to the idea of mortality once in a way it'll make you depressed it will make you fearful. If you live with it every moment, it will make you absolutely exuberant and alive because it is just this one thing that this is not forever, this is just for a brief period of time. And the more joyful you are, briefer it becomes. If you're ecstatic, it'll just vanish in no time, <laughs> yes? So if you want to stretch it, you need to make yourself truly miserable. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll be just gone in no time. If you
come to terms with this, if you live this way, that every moment you appreciate one thing and only one thing, because the most important thing in your life is you're alive right now, to be alive. Fully alive, one hundred percent alive is the most important thing because only if something is hundred percent alive, can you make it yield something beautiful.